Hi folks, how firms decide what resources to purchase. This will be the first of a two-part video. In this one we are going to figure out uh, marginal product or, or marginal physical product, MPP, which is should be a review for you because we've, we've, we've done that when we started our unit on theory of the firm. And then we're also going to learn how to figure out something called MRP, which is marginal revenue product. So it's the first step towards deciding or helping us to analyze how how much resources firms uh, should buy. Sorry about that. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is take a look at a uh, resource schedule. This is an accounting firm. It's deciding how many accountants it should employ. We see that in the left-hand column. We've got some uh, schedule. We could hire one accountant, two, three, four, up to seven. The next column gives us the number of tax returns that we would expect to be able to finish as a result of hiring these different numbers of accountants. And we see that the general trend is to increase, but it looks like after the second worker that the pattern of tax returns per day increases, but at a slower and slower rate. And finally, what we can do is we can figure out the MPP or MP, marginal physical product or just marginal product, by um, and we get that by um, subtracting total, in this case, the total output of the second worker from the total output of the first worker. And we actually get the then the contribution that each individual unit of input is making. So the second worker contributed 13 towards the total. The third worker contributed six. The fourth worker contributed four returns. The fifth worker contributed two. The sixth worker contributed one. And finally, the seventh worker didn't contribute any at all. And so what we see then is when we're figuring out MPP, marginal physical product, uh, that being the additional output that additional in units of input usually labor produce, we see that uh, diminishing return sets in uh, at the third worker. And the reason for that is that you have variable units of input, in this case accountants, using fixed units of input, which would be the capital in our accounting firm, computers, desks, chairs, and so forth. And after a certain period of time, their productivity falls. It just happens that this uh, productivity falls uh, with the hiring of the third worker. We can uh, graph the situation. Uh, of course, it's a graph that you should be familiar with. It just is, this is a review. The graph of MPP or MP initially rises uh, with that, that second worker that we talked about. It was extremely productive, and then the third worker uh, diminishing returns starts to set in and so on and so on uh, until we have this downward sloping curve. Uh, which would then continue to, would actually go negative if we were to continue and hire the eighth worker. Hopefully by that particular point the firm's going to hire some more capital on. So that's how we figure out marginal product or marginal physical product. The next thing we have to do is figure out this thing called marginal revenue product. So uh, here we are assuming a uh, constant price uh, that we get for our tax return, so we're assuming a perfectly competitive environment to make it easier on ourselves that we get a hundred dollars per each tax return. And then, then all we're going to do is, is figure out the total revenue, and that is just uh, taking our uh, price, which is a hundred times quantity, uh, p times q. Once we get that, then we can figure out the marginal revenue, which which is 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 just taking the the um, First, uh, well, our marginal, sorry, our marginal revenue is constant because we're uh, assuming a perfectly competitive environment. So each additional uh, unit of sale is going to give us exactly the revenue that the last unit of sale did because we're assuming a constant price. Finally, what we're going to do is get marginal revenue product, which is the value of the additional output generated by the last unit of input and usually labor. To do that, uh, we take the MPP, marginal physical product, that we had ascertained a little bit earlier and multiply it by the marginal revenue, and that gives us the marginal revenue product, which again is going to show diminishing marginal returns. So once we've figured out MP and MPP, uh, we're ready to figure out uh, costs, which we will do in our very next video. I'll see you then.